Hi, I'm Paymon, and I've been tutoring IELTS for more than four years. Today and in this video, I'm going to test your knowledge of the IELTS exam, and together we will find out whether you're ready for this test or not. There are going to be 15 questions, and the questions will get progressively harder. There are going to be multiple choices for you to choose, and one correct answer. Let's get it started and see whether you're ready or not. Question number one. How many sections are there in the IELTS exam? A. 1 B. 4 C. 5 and D. 8 The correct answer is B. 4 sections. Reading, listening, writing, and speaking. Question 2. What is the maximum score you can achieve in each section of the IELTS exam? A. 9 B. 10 The correct answer is 9. Question 3. Which of the following is not a skill assessed in the speaking section of the IELTS exam? A. Grammar B. Accent C. Vocabulary and D. Fluency. The correct answer is B. Accent. Although having a clear accent is very helpful, it is not directly graded in the IELTS exam. Question 4. In writing task 2, what is the minimum word count for your essay? A. 150. B. 250. C. 350 and D, 400. The correct answer is B, 250 words, but it's better to target 300 words. Question 5. In the first part of the speaking section, how should you answer the questions? A, provide long explanations. B, make up your answers. C, answer shortly and clearly. And D, only use fancy words. The first part of the test is kind of like a warm-up. So C, answer shortly and clearly would be the most suitable answer. Did you find the questions easy so far? Well, let's make them a little bit harder. In which part of the essay is it essential to wrap up your ideas and reinforce your opinions? A. Conclusion B. Introduction C. Body Paragraph 1 D. Thesis Statement A is the correct answer. Question 7. How many passages are typically included in the reading section of the IELTS exam? A. 2 B. 3 C. 4 and D. 5 There are three passages in the IELTS reading section and 40 questions. Question 8. What types of recordings are included in the listening section? A. Songs and poetry. B. Political podcasts. C. Movie dialogues. D. Conversations and interviews. D is the correct answer. In which section of the test do people usually achieve lower scores? A. Listening B. Speaking C. Reading D. Writing Surprisingly, almost 90% of people get their lowest score in the writing section of the exam. So D is the correct answer. Question 10. What are the criteria for assessment in the writing section? A. Vocabulary B. Grammar C. Task achievement and coherence D. All of the above D is the answer. For the last five questions in the quiz, I really want to test your knowledge in each section of the test. So let's go through some real IELTS questions. 
Question 11. Listen to this IELTS recording, then choose the right answer. Now, I understand you also have a request. Yes, that's right. We're looking for anyone who has a few spare hours each week who would like to offer their services to the library. Our computer classes have become so popular over the past year that we're thinking about starting a second session and we'll need someone to run it. The current teacher will work with you so you won't be left to sort things out on your own. We can promise the person a warm welcome and a class of very motivated people, many of whom are at quite a high level. The correct answer is B, because they are thinking of creating a second session for their students because their classes have become more popular. Question 12. Listen to this IELTS recording and fill in the gap with the correct word. For art project number three, we need egg cartons and pipe cleaners. What's a pipe cleaner? Pipe cleaners are basically flexible lengths of metal wire that are furry. They come in all sorts of different colors. They're very useful in crafts. The word to fill the gap with is metal. Let's move on to the reading part. Read the passage below and answer the question. First, I will give you some time to carefully read this little passage below. Okay, according to the passage, what has hindered efforts to mitigate the effects of climate change? A. Lack of public awareness. B. Technological limitations. C. Political and economic interests. D. Natural disasters. C is the correct answer. Political and economic interests. Question 14. Which opening line is more suitable to start your essay? I'll give you some time to read the options and select your choice. If you picked A, you're absolutely right. But what is the reason behind your choice? You can write it down in the comment section so that others would find out as well. For the last question, imagine you're in the speaking part three of the IELTS exam. You will be asked of a question and you need to respond verbally. Be ready to provide a 30 second response by speaking loudly. Is money the only measure of success in your country? You'd fail this last question if you just couldn't provide a clear response to it. Or if you just paused too many times and just said ums and as repeatedly. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to share your results in the comment section and tell me which questions you found the most difficult. And if you found this video valuable or helpful in any way, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. See you everybody, take a good care and goodbye.